guys, sorry I took so long to make this review video. I got this suit at latexcatfish.com. I'm really happy with how the suit turned out. I think it took about a month and a half for mine to get here, um, for them to make it and for it to get here because I decided to go for um, a custom one just because if I was going to be spending that much money anyways, I may as well make sure it fits properly. So I had it, a custom one done. It was about 350 Canadian. Um, I'm not sure how that translates to American. And yeah, so latexcatfish.com. Um, great customer service. They sent me an email every step of the way. And they even have a video on their YouTube of how to take your own measurements for the customized suit. I did have to cut the um, gloves off because they're really tight on me. Um, I got the small size and then so when I put it on um, it was so tight that I couldn't wear it for more than five minutes and yeah I couldn't feel my hands. So I decided to take them off and so I reordered the gloves in a medium size and um, I was thinking of putting them on with some latex glue, but I kind of like the idea of having my hands free for if I need to fix my hair, put my eye patch on, and then can, I can put my gloves on. Um, that way I don't have to take my whole suit off just to fix something. Um, yeah, just because if you try and fix your hair with the gloves on, it's so staticky and it's not very fun. <laughs> Um, it's also easier to use your phone that way too. I mean, you can use it with the gloves; it will still work. It's just um, easier. But yeah, so yeah, I cut them up. <sighs> but yeah, I wasn't sure what to do for shoes since you know you don't really want to be walking around a con with just your latex feet. It could get damaged, and that's not really comfortable either. So I got these super cheap Crocs at Costco and now they're dedicated for my suit. So that's what I've been wearing every time I use it, which is two times. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I should talk about comfort too. It's not comfortable. It's mostly like in the arms here. Maybe I just don't have it on properly. But when it creases in here, like you get marks and a rash almost. And I'm pretty sure I don't have a latex allergy because um, I'm sure I would have had hives or rashes in different areas. But it's just right here in the elbow area that after my shoots I noticed I was hurting in there and had a rash. So I mean the lower body's fine. It's just that one spot. One thing I was kind of trying to figure out was how to make it shiny. Um, and I was worried about buying the wrong stuff, but as long as you get a silicone base glue, um, then you're good, or so, that's what people have been saying in my videos. Um, you can actually get latex conditioner, and that's supposed to be really good. It's not on it right now because I've washed the suit since that shoot, so I, I washed it all off. and. I found it easy to wash it if I just like go in the shower myself, pin my hair up, um, I already have it undone because I can't zip it up and pack by myself. And what did I use? I think I just used dish soap? Yeah, so I can't remember. Don't quote me on what you're supposed to use. I don't remember. But yeah, it's clean now. Yeah. Putting it on. Um, wasn't too bad. I chose to have it come with just the baby powder or just the powder inside. I didn't like choose anything more expensive. I did try um, with the Lou, putting it on with the Lou, but I actually didn't prefer that. I preferred using the baby powder um, and then using the Lou afterwards to shine it up. Yeah, I mean, the quality is great. It's really, I mean, I don't think I'll ever even be able to rip it and I just got the normal 0.4 or whatever it is. Oh, another thing. Maybe give this thing a little bit more space in your measurements because I did add space in the neck area and it still feels kind of tight. So I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. 
give it an extra inch or something because it's kind of tight. Another thing that they included with the suit are what I think are little repair things just in case something does happen to your suit. So I got one of every color that it came with. So if it does rip or something, then I'll just get some latex glue and patch it up. At least I'm assuming that's what these are. Cool. Good to have. Otherwise, yeah. So, um, I did do a shoot uh, with this costume and I'm so excited with how it turned out. It was really awesome and I have to thank Craig with Turn Off Photography for doing that with me and I'm going to be doing another shoot with Her name's Lee Parks but I can't remember the photography page. Ah! Um, happy squeak photo. Thank you so much for watching. Um, um, yeah, thanks for watching.